everybody it's your boy sinister team rg we in the building you already know stand up hope everybody had a good day blessed day um i'm still here at the hotel but that ain't what this video is about actually i want to come talk to a lot of y'all out there um i made a decision today about something i want to do for my career as a truck driver and i always wanted to do this but the school i went to didn't offer this so basically what I did was I was sitting here online and you know I took a break because I was eating and then I thought about something I'm like yo you know what I want to actually go back to school and I'm gonna actually go back to school um, for skid pad training where you learn how to throw an 18 wheeler into a jackknife on a skid pad so that's something that I want to get under my belt. I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to have that training. And, you know, I wanted to always go to a school that did that type of training. But Roadmasters don't offer that type of training. And I don't want to wait till, you know, the weather gets bad and then, you know, it'd be ice on the road. And then I have to learn how to handle a jackknife or, you know, it's raining so bad that, you know, my, my trailer swings around on me or whatever other reason that can cause you to have a jackknife you know I don't want to wait till I'm in the predicament of a jackknife to learn how to handle a jackknife I want to be well equipped and knowledge with handling the jackknife now I'm gonna go I'm gonna uh give a school a call I found the school online that I'm looking at that offers the skid pad trainer semi I think it's called uh let me see I'm here at my laptop what is it called? It's called uh Let me see if this is no that's not it. Um I yeah, it's called skid pad training. So basically this is where it teaches you the capabilities to be able to handle if your truck end up in a jackknife, bobtail, or if you got a truck and the trailer hooked up. So I want to learn those capabilities to have that under my belt because I do want to be a million miler and I feel that that's another thing that I need under my belt to accomplish that goal also. And, you know, every few years I think I might just go back and touch up on that and stuff like that because you know you you'll never learn everything in trucking but you can always practice you can always practice and I don't want to wait until I'm on the highway and something happens that causes my trailer to jackknife on me god forbid I hope that never you know I hope that never happens so god forbid that um so I feel this is a great skill to get I feel this is a a good training and of course you already know um i'm gonna go and i'm gonna I'm call these people tomorrow and stuff like that and i'm gonna look into <clears throat> seeing what the cost is i'm not worrying about the cost i can handle it um and maybe take some home time up there and you know give me a hotel room bobtail to the school with with my truck and then go there and do some training and I can also talk to students that's there that's looking to come in the truck in and um, let them know what trucking is like and stuff like that. So, yep. So your boy decided to go back to school and I want to just get this training. I I really want this. I want that. I want that done. I want to get that ability and that capa those capabilities to be able to handle an 18 wheeler and a jackknife. You know, when it when it's scared, because I know that got to be a scary feeling. And, you know, to end up in a jackknife predicament on the road and trying to, like, you know, you, you your mind going to start racing. But if I can practice it over and over and over on the, on the skid, on the skid pad, you know, that'll prepare me for a real life scenario. Plus, anyway, when it rains, you're not supposed to be driving fast. When it's snowing, you're not supposed to be driving fast. And you got to know what, how to recognize um, 
black ice and stuff like that and that. What degrees does the roast start freezing? So you got to get all that knowledge down and everything. And even though I've been in trucking three years, I'm also deciding, um, I, I also decided I'm going to go back into my CDL book and restudy, tighten up on that, you know, and... Yeah, I don't, I don't never want this knowledge to fade or, yes, it does become second nature, but I always want to go back and touch it up. You know, that was a commitment I made to myself. Like, no matter how many years I'll be in trucking, I'm going to always go back and touch the book and reread the book and remember how it was when I wanted to get in this game, you know. So, <clears throat> that's the one thing that I'm going to do. So... Yep, your boy gonna go back to school. Um, I'm looking at uh the school that I'm looking at because I know somebody. I just heard it. Somebody just said, "Yo, Sam, what school is it?" Uh, Fox Valley Technical College, I believe it's up in Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin. So, um, go up there and I'm gonna call them tomorrow since I'm still here at the hotel and inquire about going to their school to get the skid the skid pad uh training and stuff like that and you know once I get the information I'll drop the next part of this video and let y'all know you know what they said and how you know what's the course and what's the requirement and stuff like that so I just need the skid pad training I don't need uh no other training <music>